What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy the Middle Age Gamer and this is the awesome unboxing video of the brand new Lithgow Arms F90 GBBR manufactured by KWA. Now, as always, before we, I would say, truly unbox this, while well, I cut all the tape, usual disclosures ahead. This is an airsoft toy. This is not a real firearm. There are no real firearms in this video or in any of my videos. This was bought by me, and these are my genuine, honest opinions based off my own experiences as we unbox it together. And yes, that is a lot of noise. So, as always, people are going to ask me, like, what is the uh, Lithgow Arms and the F90 and that? And basically, the F90 is the official infantry rifle of the Australian Armed Forces. And this being a awesome, God, that's heavy, but a awesome replica of that. Now, this was originally going to be released back in the beginning of last year, if I remember rightly. But as always, KWA have sort of like held it back so that they could include a lot more of their brand new updates to the bulk carry group and other. I would say internal parts such as the hop. This now uses the new Type 3 hop, which is seen on the PMX, if I remember, which we had on the channel just before Christmas. That review is going absolutely awesome as well. Wow, this has been really tightly bin wrapped <laughs> with shrink wrap. This is awesome. So let's get that out of the way. We don't need that no more. Okay, yeet that out of the way. So yeah, so Lithgow Arms is basically Australia's manufacturer of, I would say, the infantry rifles and all their arms. Lithgow Arms has over a hundred years of experience doing it since World War One, if I remember rightly, in 1904 is when it was first officially done. The F90 is their product from the ground up, but it's gonna look like an org, if I remember rightly. So, okay, so without further ado, let's unbox this. Now, well, as always, KWA's packaging is something to be desired. They do need a little bit more in there, but still, let's see, we got the magazine here which is a aluminum shelled waffle mag for the AUG. Has a nice thick plastic bumper at the bottom, which is nicely bolted on. Fill valve there at the bottom. This is nice. It's not as heavy as their LM4 mags, but it is still a nice weight, but this is freezing. Now, what about the rifle itself? Okay. So, obviously your uh, instruction manual there. Like I say, this being um, Lithgow Arms' own, that's got some nice weight to it. But I do like the balance. As you can see here, it's nicely balanced in the palm of your hand. So yeah, this is not an org, and if you do say that to them, they will get angry at you. This is their own product from the ground up. Whether it's the enhanced charging handle, so instead of it being like this on the standard A3, it's now up. Instead of using a cast aluminum upper receiver part, They've now milled it. It's still aluminum, but this entire area is aluminum and vented and is milled better for longevity and reliability. They removed the quick change barrel per se, but you still keep the push through pin for easily strip and take down. Oh, safe on, fire. That's nice. And you do still have your two stage progressive trigger, but. In there is your nice little, um, but we are going to need, oh, there we got it. You can pull that down and you've got your lockout pin so you can keep it in semi-auto only. This is the full length barrel version of it. And you do have your button for forward assist there so you can slam that home. Slip metal sling points. That's nice. And you do have a changeable gas regulator valve here though, you know. It is airsoft, but yeah, this is awesome. Now, like I say, this does have a rotary hop, 
So if I want that to the rear, you won't see it through here, but just about here on the hop chamber when you disassemble it, you can just push that all the way through. Let's slide that forward a bit. Oh, there you go. As you can see, right there is your hop up wheel to adjust. So you can just slide that forward, lock that back, push that back in and away you go. You've got nice full metal rails here, a lot more rail space. Sling on the rear and you take that. What do you guys think? Ooh. To that org, the Australian hog, if you want to call it that way. I am absolutely stunned. They, de they even went as far as to include the removable piece here for the SL40 grenade launcher, which is kind of cool. It is 14 millimeter count clockwise threaded at the front to put whatever muzzle device you want on there. But yeah, basically what, Aust what Australia have done with the Lithgow Arms is completely reinvent the AUG, made it future-proof, redesigned it, made it more ergonomic, better balanced, more reliable, just a lot better with a fluted barrel as well for cooling and all the venting up at the top. Just a lot better. So, wow. What do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am absolutely just blown away. You can now put a foil grip on here of choice instead of having that A2 foldy thing. I like it. But yeah, that is beautiful. Look at the amount of metal. You even have a manual bolt hold up in here, just like the A3, which is great. And yes, you can remove the panels and flip it over, which is kind of cool. But yeah, definitely a massive improvement over the, I would say, the AUG. And that is huge. Okay, I've gone ahead and filled some gas into the mag. Let's see what she's like. So, if I lock that in. Now, flip that down. Okay, so we'll get some working. I don't expect this to be uh, any... Power, oh, full power right now because the magazine is absolutely freezing. It's like minus one out there. So, yeah. But as we got that there, drop the bolt. So let's see. Ooh. That's got a nice recoil. Yep. That is nice. It's very cold, so I don't expect it to be as full power as we expect, but that is very nice. So yeah, again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think to this awesome piece of kit. I myself am looking forward to getting this through the testing phase, etc. I'm I'm really excited. I like a good bullpup, something new, something special for the channel, as you would say. We've got a lot of ARs on here, so it's time to get something a little bit different. And I'd love to see how it compares to the Tavor that I have, which you guys have seen on the channel already. See whether it's actually any good compared to that. So far, so good, as all I can say. So, with that being said, I've been the Middle-Aged Gamer. You guys have been absolutely amazing, and I'll see you in the next one.